Hello and welcome back to your favorite show, Diagnosis. Happy New Year, my lovelies. I have missed you guys so much and before I go on I want to sincerely apologize for leaving you guys without a Christmas and New Year episode. It really wasn't my fault. I wanted to do it. My producer, you know, they say we shouldn't really lie. So to be honest, it was my fault. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Y'all should please forgive me. So happy New Year guys. I hope we all had a wonderful holiday i hope we had the best christmas and the best new year celebration i had a wonderful celebration i was surrounded with a lot of love and i thank god for that and i pray that this new year all of our dreams come true and we remain true to the slogan no grief for anybody for here for this cabal we know they agree for anybody not mdcn not the nigerian police nobody Small, but we'll, we'll just please, they shouldn't arrest me. But we know they agree for anybody. <laughs> All right, today we're going to be talking about hmm, the Nigerian government's plan to build medical universities across all 36 states and the FCT as a solution to the medical brain drain crisis. <laughs> I'm sorry, like. I, I, first of all, I want you guys to just read this article. Just pause for a minute and just read this article on screen. Because I have read the article and I, I cannot understand how that is a solution to the brain drain crisis. I feel like the government of Nigeria is failing to address the issue at its core. They would, they would look for any opportunity to avoid actually doing the right thing to you know address this pressing issue this issue that is costing lives of nigerians this issue that is that is affecting all aspects because we think that the the brain drain is just going to affect people when they come to the hospital no it will affect you in every aspect you're coming to the hospital you cannot see a doctor you're not feeling you're feeling unwell you're self-medicating no regulatory because even the regulatory bodies for the medications i mean oh yes we were you know when we we're on twitter what, when was that when the whole fake drugs fake food amoy c amoy q amoy xy they were all coming out regulatory bodies are leaving doctors are not there to see patients so patients will now actually go to these chemists and many of these chemists are just getting drugs from the east that are mainly adulterated and nobody to tell you don't take this don't take that and people are just self-medicating with fake drugs diseases are on rife like look we're in trouble and the nigerian government i think it's the senility that plagues the government that has result you know maybe the deafness that comes with age has finally caught up with the senile men and women that we have occupying you know the seats of power and they cannot hear because I feel like it is now an overflogged issue. It has been spoken about time and time and time again. And it just seems as if the government is hard of hearing. Building more medical universities will not solve the problem. In fact, we are producing doctors and hemorrhaging out more. How do we stop bleeding out doctors? What do we do to make sure that those doctors that are around now are retained in the system? What do we do to incentivize the doctors that have left to, to want to come back and want to, you know, be a part of the Nigerian healthcare system and actually start working in it? We talk about the many problems all the time. We gather around medical forums uh twitter facebook instagram snapchat you, we are you know publishing articles that are addressing the problems with the brain drain of uh, you know in nigeria in the healthcare sector but it just seems as if maybe it's not just that they can't hear because at, papers have been published and i'm sure they can read but it's seeming as if they are also blind they are not just deaf they are now also blind because if you cannot hear at least you can read how can you you know what it is? It's really just another white elephant project. It's really just another opportunity for a better edu to take the funds meant to actually help, you know, revitalize the Nigerian healthcare system. It's just another tall project wherein somebody is budgeting a certain amount for uh, transportation to an airport in Kogi State that does not exist. That's what I think this is. I'm, at this point, I don't know what else we can do, honestly. And 
I mean, the entire point of this is for us to prefer solutions, right? But even I, and I am sorry to say to people that maybe continue to keep hope alive because I also have my hope alive. I, just, I, I feel defeated because we've talked about the problems. We've talked and talked and talked and they are building universities. And what, what did they say? Sorry. So from the, they said they were going to target, the, the minister said the university will target an annual enrollment of 2,000 to 2,500 medical students, 3,500 nurses, 500 physiotherapists, biomedical engineers, and other allied health professionals with a five to 10, with a five year goal of 10,000 medical students. Who even told them that people want to study medicine again? When people are doing projects in Bapi, 2020, 2027, 2040, who wants to study medicine? You will not, okay, first of all, who will teach these doctors? Is it the consultants that are also living? Are they the ones that will teach these medical students? They should just say that they want to siphon funds and then they will now churn out uh, auxiliary doctors instead of them. As in, we know who you are, not they disguise. We know you, Nigerian politicians. We know you. But again, if anyone is out there listening, I would think we should address the problem of remuneration. I would think we should address the infrastructure problems. I would think we should address the fact that there are no fun many of the hospitals do not have functioning vital equipment. I would think we, sh we should address the fact that doctors are being beaten up by patients and there's no security. I would think that we should also address the fact that the security uh, th th that the security of Nigeria is at an all-time low. But instead, we have the police you know arranging microphones like podcasters that don't have anything to say to come and say no grief for anybody is, is is a slogan that can incite terrorism for god's sake let's let's be for real and this is 2027 the lord's yet no i mean 2024 i've already <laughs> This is 2024. This is the lot. Don't worry. I'm expecting something huge in 2027. So I think that's why it's in my head. But yeah, this is 2024. And this is the... I, at this point, we should try to get our act right. We should try to get our act right. I was I was actually impressed with what Eboni State did when the governor provided vehicles and you know ambulances and the rest even though some of those ambulances were bearing the red crescent moon like hmm, let me not talk before they arrest me because i don't know but hmm, somebody asked why are they bearing the red crescent moon i hope we do not get them a second hand from one middle eastern country hmm 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 but at least he provided ambulance i hope He's also trying to improve, you know, uh, you know, the structure, the paramedic structure in Ebony State. He's trying to also improve their remuneration packages so that doctors can be paid. You are not paying them well. You are still owing them. I, I hope we are working on actually paying them as at when their payments should come in. And talking about increase to reflect the current realities of the, the current economic realities because we're not doing any of that and you can just go to a country where you are actually valued then i don't see any retention program that is going to make sense anyway so another thing that we're going to do now this year is that we're going to be you know writing articles not just talking right we're going to be writing articles and posting it out we're going to leave a link to our blog post you guys should please follow subscribe read comment leave thumbs up because your likes and your comments help us to continue to you know produce these videos for you that you love so much i know you love them even though some of you are disguising and i read the comments i do read the comments and the entire point of this is not because I know it all. It's because I want to also learn. If I say something that you consider wrong, correct me lovingly. No, they swear for me. Haba. If you continue to swear for me, I would like to come here and continue to talk to you. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, thank you guys for listening to our show. I, I really want to hear from you guys what you think about this article. We're going to paste the link you know to the article so we can read it up and actually understand where this <laughs> understand where i'm coming from and understand what these people are doing and come to the realization to get that because i've read that that point so i want people to also understand that 
it's like there's no sense in this Nigerian government. I don't know. Maybe I'm the one that's overreacting, but I, I, I doubt I'm overreacting. I think you're all going to come to the conclusion that Kosikaka, not one sense is found in the Nigerian government's cabal or whatever they are doing there. Because I don't understand why you're building you know, medical schools. You're not even building teaching hospitals to accommodate these medical schools. No, instead you want to continue using the old ones that are already... <sighs> I'm a young girl in the prime of her life and you people will not give me hypertension, Nigeria. But I know that we will continue to work hard towards improving upon the problems that plague the Nigerian healthcare system, preferring solutions and you know, solving it all in all so that each and every one of us can finally start to enjoy a country with a very good healthcare system. Always, it is a pleasure to bring this show to your screens and I hope that we have a wonderful year this year. We have a lot in store for you guys. Oh, the things that we have in the studio you're not even ready we're taking no grief for anybody literally really what well, the book of what now the book of sorosoki <laughs> thou shall not grief for anybody this year we're going to make sure that we come up with more interesting content please also leave your uh, your suggestions what you want us to talk about if you see anything online that you want us to address please leave the suggestions so that we can also you know bring it to you this is a people-centered station and we want you guys to enjoy it as much as we do thank you guys once again don't forget to like and subscribe and share and comment and leave cons constructive criticisms and don't insult my koi koi shoe and don't insult my dress but be nice thank you guys always it's your favorite show diagnosis bye